are about to connect with people who are ready to bring you the most open, honest, and revealing life stories. Welcome to Journey TV. Hi, and welcome to today's episode of Journey TV. I'm Erlene Camille, your host, and today I have Miss Bahamas Universe, Chantelle O'Brien with me. Chantelle, <laughs> it's a pleasure to finally have you on Journey TV. Well, the pleasure is really all mine. It's, I, it's just an honor to be here today. Awesome, and you are here as the crowned Miss Bahamas Universe. Yeah. Yes, I am. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I, you know, I met you, I think, in 2016, 2016, yeah. 2017. Yeah. Yeah. So I, w I am a witness to greatness unfolding. <laughs> a good bit of evolving for sure, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. You look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. I and I can't wait to cheer you on at the Miss Universe. Um, pageant. When is when is that occurring? December 12th. It's wow. in Israel this year. I'm <gasps> super excited. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm super excited. I mean, I think that just God giving me the opportunity to go out there and be used by him is just always an honor. And so I'm just happy to have the, the chance to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are going to make us proud. We are already proud of you. Thank you. So I just introduced you as Miss Bahamas Universe, um, but there's so much more to Chantel. Mm -hmm. So I want you to introduce yourself to our audience. Sure, well, first of all, Chantel is a Christian. A lot of where I've been able to come to to this day has a great deal to do with my faith, and I can't move forward without it. I am the only child. Oh. Yeah, a lot of people do not know that I am the only child, but it was really, I didn't start out like that. I had two older brothers who passed away. Oh, wow. Yeah, and so I've been living with my mom and just kind of doing life with her and being the breadwinner of our home. And aside from that, I've just always loved being able to be around great company. And so I take pleasure with being with my friends and kind of creating memories. I'm that person who always wants to take photos because I love to gather memories because I look back at my childhood and I don't have a lot of childhood photos. And so I never want that to be the case. I just want to always have this great box of photos that people can reference and see where I've come from and where I'm going and that's something that excites me and a, lo a lot of the passions for me come from being able to be a young person who also understands the power of what youth can bring to the country and so my platform youth development has been something that's been extremely extensive and something that I love and my mantra wow. is perfection is a myth wow. and that's something that I try to preach every single day. Wow. Oh that again people see the success they don't see what happens behind the scenes. You mentioned your mom, which sounds, she's your strong pillar. She really is. And I know that you two have gone through things together. So I want you to share with us, because this is Journey TV and we're talking about your journey. Uh, bring us into your journey. Show us the evolution of the queen that we see today. Whew, it's a journey. <laughs> yeah, it's a journey. Definitely a lot of those um, potholes and roller coasters and everything in between. I would say for myself, just being on this path has been definitely, it's taken a lot of great just belief and trust, mm -hmm. you know, trusting the process. I grew, in, grew up into humble beginnings. You know, my mom, she migrated here um, from Haiti and she decided that, listen, I want to be able to give you a good life. I'll sacrifice mine for you. And, you know, she did that within my three children and now she's down to one. So you can only imagine that she's had to suffer a lot of grief. And, you know, I look at her and she's such a brave woman, but she's a brave woman who understands the power of support because I've decided to make several decisions that I knew would benefit me and benefit her in the, in the long run, which was one deciding to leave my corporate job and mm -hmm. decide to good, go on good corporate job. <laughs> my good good paying corporate job to decide and you know start my own business it had already been started but just to say you know i'm going to do this full time i'm going to trust in this and right before the pandemic actually happened and so i don't know i don't know if i knew it was going to happen if i was going to still decide to go ahead and do this mm, but I, I i don't regret it i don't regret it it's been a difficult time. Last year was definitely one of those testing trials for both me and her. 
and having to deal with you know home insecurity was one of the one of the top things and having to deal with home and security home insecurity home insecurity yeah so. yeah home insecurity and you know dealing with facing eviction and things like that i mean if I was doing it on my own, I think that it would be a completely different story. I don't think I would care as much because when you're mm -hmm. so much into what it is that you love, you do anything for it. Mm -hmm. You know, you deal with that, whatever. But doing that and dealing with that with my mom, you know, that's heartbreaking mm -hmm. because she's someone who st stood with me every step of the way. But even in all of that, when I decided that, hey, mom, I think I'm going to end up competing again just knowing that she was in my corner all Aww. over again you know she's seen the decisions i've made she's been behind them it's affected her but it hasn't changed her prayer life mm -hmm. it hasn't changed her relationship with christ and it's inspired me greatly wow and so i know that i'll never have anyone hold me down like my mom mm. <laughs> oh you know she's mommy's there. girl yeah she's there for me 100 110 percent and so a lot of what I'm doing, it's all, it's all for her. And I know that God is going to do great things. Interesting. Yeah. Mom sounds like she is so strong. So is she your biggest in inspiration? She absolutely is. I've seen my mother have to deal with so much. I mean, just on her own, because a lot of people counted her out. Wow. You know, when they look at her life and just see that it's like every year was something. You know, every other minute it was some trial some tribulation just something and it's like when are you going to get a group a break you know what i mean but i've seen her persevere and overcome she's a very resilient woman and i have no choice but to also be resilient she's set a very great standard in that so as a queen of course um you are viewed as with you you're viewed the focus is beauty mm -hmm. you know up front it's beauty of course it's followed by intelligence gracefulness how you carry yourself. What is it that you would want us to know about you? Um, instead of us seeing the beauty, I mean, of course you want us to see the beauty, <laughs> but what would you want the world to know about Chantel? Being the queen that you are, but not the stereotyped queen. Um, I would want the world to know that I'm not a perfectionist. I feel like I used to be. I always wanted this had to be like this, had to be like this, had to be like this. But life taught me a great deal. And being in the pageant industry, it's important to be able to break away from what a lot of society's standards has been. And that's something that I want to continue to preach even to young girls. Mm -hmm. Going on social media is very easy to see someone, but listen, after the filters, after the editing, after mm -hmm. all of that, you know, that's what we present. We present our best selves because that's what we want to be celebrated. And so I try to use my platform as a way to be as transparent as possible. I want people to know, like, it's not easy. I want people to know that I would much rather be here bare face. But for the sake of this sake, I will be here with some makeup on my face um, because I want you to see what it looks like when you're not, you know, wallowing in your pain and in your, you know, just your grief and your wounds. And so that's my message. Don't allow yourself to just stick to being a perfectionist. There's so many things that you are going to want to do that just won't go the way that you want it to. And there's going to be some obstacles that are going to get in your way and it's not going to be easy. But as long as you have that mentality that I'm just going to get through it nonetheless, you're going to find yourself in the greatest position ever. Awesome. A beautiful queen with great depth and a beautiful heart. Thank you. So we'll come right back um, to talk more about your journey. Don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back after this break. Nikosi Kweku Simonet, CEO and Operations Manager at Sign Island. Sign Island started from desperation. My wife went ahead and bought the first printer. I still have no idea how we are where we are. I owe it all to my staff and my customers. You need support. One man is not an island. You can't do it on your own. If you think you can do it on your own and you are succeeding, you can do even more with a little bit of support. The support I've got from my clients has been amazing. Welcome back. And if you are just joining us, I'm here with Miss Bahamas Universe, Chantel O'Brien. Chantel, right before the break, um, we spoke about just some of the hardships that you have endured to um, you know, transition into this queen in all areas of your life, not just externally but internally as well 
um, just again on, on all levels. I want you to, to share what is the greatest hardship that you have endured that was turned around for your, for your good on the highest level? Okay. Like what is the most impactful thing that like I, I, sometimes I don't see a way out of this, but it just all connected to where I am today and where I'm going today. Wow. I have so many to choose from, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. I think that they, they've all from different angles just kind of offered some lesson. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I, I talk about the eviction. I talk about it mostly because, like I said, if it was just me, no worries. But being with my mom, it was, it was harder for, for me to see her in that place. And so definitely, I'd say that. But looking at it, a year later and seeing that we are just continuing to flourish albeit still more things that we'd like to see done you know more successes and those and things along those lines but just knowing that we're still a step forward from where we was is always a blessing and I definitely say being an entrepreneur so I serve a niche market and I call it a niche market because a lot of people some people understand the importance of deportment of confidence of pageantry as a whole and others not so much mm -hmm. but i've had the opportunity to work with you know teens toddlers toddlers yes wow. who are interested in being able to walk confidently mm -hmm. and enjoy themselves and just build confidence with that platform but it's definitely been difficult coming into the pandemic i mean i i wasn't as established as yet and so that was definitely one of the hardest things because I'm serving a niche market that hasn't appreciated what I do as yet, mm -hmm. but I've also been able to uh, target a, a set of people that do appreciate it with virtual coaching and things like that. And I've, had, mm -hmm. I've seen so much successes with my clients abroad who, who are winning titles. Wow. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's definitely been um, hard and rocky, but I know my vision for it. I know that it's not just etiquette and and runway and anything like that i know what i want to do i know i want to have so much layers to it and i just know that i have to start somewhere mm -hmm. and so for people who are aware of what i do just know that it's not going to remain this way and those who aren't great that's fine because when you do hear about it again it's going to be something so much greater and so much grander i know that wow. god is going to do fantastic things yeah you are sitting in his peace and his joy because you know <laughs> what you know I absolutely love it. And you know, I, I always enjoy watching your videos of you <laughs> strutting down the catwalk in your studio, your yeah. studio. Yeah. So you are a pageant coach, you're an etiquette coach. Mm -hmm. um, I actually saw a video the other day where, where you were helping someone to walk in heels, mm -hmm. something that most of us take for granted. Mm -hmm. So you are building confidence. You're a confidence coach. Yep, yep. Um, I think that I get the most I will tell you exactly when I knew this was for me. It was 2018, it was maybe a few months after I had decided that I was going to coach professionally. Mm -hmm. And I had this lady, she reached out to me, I'll call her name Brene Clark. She um, is the founder of Virtuous Organization. And she said, hey Chantel, you know, we're preparing for this mother-daughter fundraiser show, fashion show, and I'd love if you'd be able to help my girls and all of that. And I said, okay, sure. And so I had the opportunity to meet them and just work with them before. It was like a couple of weeks into going to the show itself. Mm -hmm. And I remember coming to the show and sitting there and seeing them come out completely in their element, mm -hmm. br just completely broken up of their shell. They were wow. not in their shells anymore. They were confident. They were just kind of having fun and it just hit me like I just knew that this this, this was it this is where I was supposed to be and I remember leaving there and well before I left she told me she's like Chantal I can't believe these are the same girls wow I cannot believe it and I went to my car and I literally sat there and cried for 15 minutes straight I was like purpose I was like this is where I'm supposed to be and that's why I'm so persistent in continuing to do what I do because I know God has a calling on my life and this is the place that I'm supposed to be. And he's going to use every one of my experiences, the good, the bad, to get me to where I'm supposed to be. And he's going to get all the glory from it. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So which year was that? That was 2018. 2018. Yeah. 
So what were your dreams at, like be, as a young child or young adult? Wow. Nothing like this. Wow. <laughs> oh, so like this. so this, thought, this just unfolded. It unfolded, unfolded this unfolded. way. It unfolded this way because I thought that I was just going to climb up the corporate ladder. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a marketing student beforehand, all that good stuff. And I mean, really, I was in a good position where I, at the place that I was working at the time because there was room for me to say, okay, right, I'll go from right. here to there, here to there to here to there. But it, I just realized that mm -hmm. it just, that wasn't for me. Mm -hmm that there was something else. I can totally relate to that because my focus was, again, climbing the corporate ladder and then purpose started to pull about 20, 2018. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2018, I, that's when, yeah, and we're here now. This is, you know, it's continuously unfolding. So I get exactly where you're coming from with that. Yes, and it's a nagging feeling. You can't, you can't ignore it mm -hmm. because it will always follow you. Mm -hmm and something someone says, something that you watch, it doesn't matter, it will just continue to follow you and you just, just give into it. Just give into it, yeah. just do it, Yeah. take the jump. <laughs> so I want you to, to talk to our viewers, especially those little girls that have big dreams. Um, you said that you went to this, this first event and you saw the evolution of these young girls. Mm -hmm. I know that people engage you directly, right? But I want you to talk to our viewers out there who um, could be someone that you would build up to have more confidence because they are struggling in those areas. And also talk about their dreams and how they can accomplish those dreams. Absolutely. I think that it's important to note that it's always progress over perfection. No need to strive for something that is sometimes unattainable. Just go ahead and love who you are, embrace who you are, and be a big dreamer. I dream every single day, even in the middle of my dreams, I dream because I know that nothing is too big for my reality. Do not allow your circumstances or your family or environments to get in the way of what you know your heart is calling you to. And just continue to invest in yourself. Investing in yourself means telling yourself yes when it's easier to say no. Do the hardest thing. And when you do the hardest thing, you will find that there is much reward in that. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Before we let you go, I want you to give your social media handles. How can someone who wants to engage you as a confidence coach, as a pageant coach, how can they reach you? And um, just, you know, how can they connect with you on, on the whole, even cheering for you as our Miss Bahamas universe? Well, you can find me on Instagram at Meet Chantel, M-E-E-T, Chantel as well as P.S. O'Brien Consulting on Instagram. I'm Chantelle O'Brien on Facebook, and it's P.S. O'Brien Consulting on Facebook. And you can also log on to my website, which is psobrienconsulting.com. Awesome Miss Bahamas universe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for gracing us with your presence. I will be cheering for you. You'll be all the way in Israel, but we would be virtually joining you. Absolutely, and I appreciate that so much. Thank you. This is your time. This is your season. I know, I know, I know that you will make the Bahamas proud. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us, but don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Want to learn more about our guests? Subscribe to Footprints Journey blog, where special features will be released to give you more insight into their journeys and allow you to ask them questions. Want you to journey with us. Bye -bye. Move with strength and energy. Drinking Ensure, you get vitamins, minerals, and up to 30 grams of high quality protein. Your life, your health, your Ensure. The Give Back, presented by Ensure. Your life, your health, your Ensure. My name is Catherine Coakley. I am the founder and lead coach of The Authentic Woman. The Authentic Woman is a woman empowered community um, that truly desires to help women to evolve in their identity, in their purpose, into the, in their power, and in their faith. In this community, I have designed a coaching academy that is designed specifically for women who are at their this place in their life where they truly want to evolve. They want to become better. They want to be whole. They want to grow spiritually. They want to grow mentally. They want to heal. And they truly want to transform their lives. This organization has been around for about three years and officially I have been coaching for two years as of January 
In my coaching community, I have designed a curriculum that is truly geared towards approaching the pillars I believe that women are faced with within their lives. The curriculum itself is ranges from identity, building and unlocking your identity, really understanding and discovering who you are in your most authentic state. We talk about purpose, understanding the process of purpose, um, the standard of purpose, and really the faith element of purpose as well. We go into wellness and boundaries, establishing boundaries so you can facilitate a healthy, wholesome life for your relationships, for your business, for your ministries, for yourself. We go into all fit, all spheres of conversation. The Coaching Academy itself is a very discussion-based um, platform which allows women to come and bring themselves. They don't have to put on, they don't have to dress up, they don't have to feel the burden to be perfect, but just bring themselves so they can be in a space where they can get help that they need moving forward. Within this community, I have attracted very diverse women. Um, from housewives, to cashiers, to physicians, to lawyers, to counselors, women that are just indebted to being them, their best selves. And because of the program, and because of the help they've been able to get from the program, it has truly empowered them to want to assist other women. As we evolve within this community, my desire is to be able to add more philanthropic aspects to this community, as well as to provide different training sessions for women that I believe won't readily have this information available to them. And so taking it into the schools, taking it into churches, take it into rural areas and creating personal development programs throughout impoverished communities so women can get the development, the personal development they need to succeed in their personal and professional lives. If you are at a place in your life where you can benefit from a community of women who are empowered to succeed mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, then this is the community for you. You can reach out to us at www.theauthenticwoman.online or you can connect with us via email at connect at theauthenticwoman.online. Feel free to follow our social media pages on Instagram and Facebook at underscore The Authentic Woman on Instagram and at The Authentic Woman on Facebook. Welcome to the Great Island Cook-Off, where each week two home chefs go head to head creating Caribbean culinary masterpieces in hopes of being named the winner of the Great Island Cook-Off. Our contestants will have four hours to prepare a three-course meal using our main ingredients sponsored by the U.S. Meat Exporters Federation, representing U.S. pork and U.S. beef. It has so much flavor in and of itself, like you don't have to manipulate it so much. It is actually a very good piece of food. It's actually very tender. It's not a, a lot of fight that I'm receiving. Three, two, one, time. Step away from the table. It's very hard to get high quality meat. You either overcook it or really undercook it, but this is this was perfectly cooked. He definitely got me. It is tasty. It is flavorful. The winner of this episode's Great Island Cook-Off is... Join us next week as internet sensation Zaneo Newbold, also known for his comedic character Sarge, ignites Journey TV with laughter and shares his journey on the more serious topic of anxiety and depression. Hear where this journey took him and how he overcame and found the light again. Tune in for this powerful story. Journey TV, we share life's truths. Welcome back. Earlier, of course, we had Miss Bahamas Universe, Chantelle O'Brien here with us on Journey TV. And of course, she shared the many hardships that she would have endured to actually get to this point. And we are all so proud of Chantelle. Again, congratulations from Journey TV. And um, our team therapist, Philippa, is here, Philippa Dean, and she's going to give her feedback on Chantelle's story. Thank you, Erlene. I absolutely love how you said we often don't get the opportunity to see the journey that's behind the success. And as I looked or I heard the story about the journey behind Chantel's success, I heard a story of interdependence actually and how adversity and hardship could actually strengthen a bond between a couple. And when I say a couple, I'm not speaking about a romantic couple, but I'm speaking about a mother and a child. And that interdependence is nothing like codependence, which speaks to an individual not being able to separate her or his identity from the other partner or the other person. But interdependence that speaks to becoming vulnerable, 
vulnerable enough and yet trusting enough that the person that you're being vulnerable with is going to help you through. What is your feedback to people out there who are enduring hardships mm -hmm. and who they are on this path um, to being better, but of course darts keep getting thrown and they, some of those darts are in prepar in, it prepares us for where we are going. Yeah. Why don't you speak to our viewers about that? Yeah. So those of you who may be out there and you may be enduring hardship at this time, I've always been an advocate or a proponent for support systems. And sometimes there, some of us are able to dig deep within and we're able to pull out the strength that we need, the resilience that we need, the innate abilities that we need and tools and resources that we need to help us overcome and get through. In a situation like this, I'm not, or like Chantel's, I don't want to say that it was solely intrinsic, but she was also relying somewhat on her mother's support. So those of you who may be going through, you can find support in friends. You can find support in family members. You may even be able to find support within your church family, as well as your coworker and colleagues, someone who's already been through, someone who's going through, and allow them and the knowledge, the wisdom, the experience that they have to help you get through. Awesome advice. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us. Until next time, give love and light to the people around you. But most importantly, don't you forget to give it to yourself. Join us next time for more Journey TV. Journey TV is presented by Insure, Sign Island, Wildflowers, Dan Brad Limited, and Footprints Journey Blog.